when I'm making jewellery, I'm always trying to think about how it fits into people's lives and, you know, potentially the generation after that and the generation after that. Yeah, and it was that spirit that we always loved about Jessica's work. So when we decided to come together and combine our art practice with Jessica's jewelry practice for this collection, it just felt like it made so much sense. We're both really working toward just trying to make objects that are that are really personal and special and, and create a relationship. Yeah, and collaborating is fun because you just learn so much. I mean, I think that's the most exciting part for me is like, you get to enter someone else's world, 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 world. I was saying to someone the other day, it was essentially like an eight year long conversation of mutual intent. Like we were like, yeah, we should do something. Yeah, we should totally do something. You know, and it happened so organically over a long period of time. And then once we kind of started, then it was just a wave. It kind of was like a runaway freight train. It was a lot of like WhatsApp photos yeah. and thing back and forth. And, and the cool thing is I would get excited because I would know, oh, Jessica like woke up and took a photo of something cool and texted me and then like you know I'll get up at six with my son and I'll have a whatsapp message and I'll be like oh shit I can't wait to open that text because you need stuff something cool from from Jessica. Send you a pic and you can send me a thumbs up emoji. Yeah, like, it's such an awesome way to wake up with like this like beautiful thing or something in process and, and we didn't have to talk about it we just kind of like everything was happening. It has to do with with Jessica's creativity and and the things that she makes and also just the atmosphere around all of it too like the townhouse and, and the, like the awesome workshop downstairs underneath everything it sort of feels like it's in the gut of london or something the execution on on jessica's end and like the ideas and the the fluidity and, and like you know it's like funny and weird and cool but also like so well made and so meticulous Everything that you do sparks some kind of imagination or creativity or conversation. And it's that mix of that childhood nostalgia and the trippiness, but the incredible way that you make things is so well thought through. It's not by accident. Craft is, yeah, glue that puts us together. People nowadays too, they have that discussion a lot about like Zoom meetings and collaboration over digital and it's so much more difficult. To be honest, I remember like COVID had just hit and we were working on the box and it was great because, you know, I think we were all really scared. And then it was like, I'd be up until like two or three, not realize that I was working on it because I was escaping into this world of fantasy. And now it's like locked inside of that box forever. You know, jewelry is not an essential life item, is it? You don't need it to like survive. And I think they are the kind of things that when, you know, it's the fan during, you know, what it has been this year, it kind of makes you, you know, realize that. But then also I've just done some incredible work with some incredible people and we're creating beautiful things that bring a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. I think that's so beautiful. Totally. And the, the what you said about the that jewelry maybe isn't essential. You could say the same for art, but I, I think it actually really is. And it, it's the generational part and just the, yeah. the soul of the piece and the soul of the artist is, is in that. And I know I need something beautiful to get me through uh, what's happening right now in, in the world. And uh, so to me, it is essential. Totally here. essential, but you know how people, you kind of question it and you're like, well, yeah. you know, does it really matter? And it does matter, it really matters. Yeah.